Hi guys, welcome to my Scottish Two's channel. This is Robin and Daryl, and today we're not doing a jewelry jar. We're doing a Shop Goodwill box. And this is going to be box number 22. If you see anything in this box you'd like to have, please leave a comment under the video with a timestamp and a short description of the item that you want. Send me an email and let me know that you have, uh, you need prices. I mean, I'll check it too, but it's nice to get your email, especially if we want to start communicating. And we've never done business before, so I don't give prices under the comments. Um, I only do it through email, so once you put in the comment, you need to email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com. And uh, I will send you the prices. And then if you accept them, you need to make sure I have your PayPal email, your full name, your shipping address, and your YouTube name. If not, that will slow down the process too. So with that said, we found that in the bottom of the box. So I don't know what, but we already took the, the bag out of the box. I'm not gonna tumble it. He wants me to, but I'm not going to. Because it's too big. It's huge. There's that. I uh, don't. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, maybe I can do it this way. Move the tray around as I knock everything over. Here's another view. I see a lot of bangles in there. I don't expect a lot out of this lot. I didn't pay much for it. Here's that. And there we go again. And maybe we'll get surprised. There's some more. And I think he's back now. Yeah. So I'm going to start helping him open the bag. Look forward to all those things. Mm -hmm. I'll do it, honey. Okay. Did you get the box? You're going to get a big box? I already oh, on it. Good job. See, so he's on it. He won't let me help him. Because he's in charge. Hmm. Just let me think of it. I'm gonna pull out this because I can. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull that out because it came out. And I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what I pulled out. I've got this button here. And it clap, clamps onto this. Or oh, this is your clasp. It's a large bracelet. I see a manly man size bracelet. There we go. And then found this watch, the Geneva watch. Gold tone and silver. It's currently not working. It's not a bad looking watch though. So yeah, be careful. You never know what's going to be in there. Then there was this box. Oh, it's a watch. It's a froggy watch. Very cute. And it's not working either. I guess the frog is your second hand. Cute. Nice, nice watch display box. Yeah, we have a mess. Kakui with turtles painted on them. I've never seen that either. We've come a long way with the Kakui necklaces since I was in Hawaii a hundred years ago. We have both been to Hawaii, but we were both in Hawaii doing our jobs at different times. So we've never been to Hawaii together, which would be which would be way more fun. Oh yeah, it's torture to have to work and 
Paradise, you know? Well, back then, they were paying us to be there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. A whole... Bunch. <laughs> yep. And these are all aluminum. Very nice. They're in good shape, too. They're not bent or anything. I'm just helping myself, honey. I can see that. Well, you don't mind, do you? Oh, no. <clears throat> There's another little necklace here. And let's see what we got going on here besides bonus hair. This is odd. It is odd. Did you ever oh. do the battery on this? Frog watch or wait. No, not yet. Okay. Just leave it in there for now. That's fine. Yeah, if, if y'all buy a watch from us, we'll put a battery in it before we send it to make sure it works. Or we'll do it before if you want us to. This is a simple fix, and I'm going to fix it because it's simple. Just needs a ring class, and then you have this double. And here's some more angles. A little, all in, a little bit fancier. More cuts. Ooh, the, you have more colors. Yeah. Awesome. Right, might as well take the rest of them. So I can get rid of all the bangles that are right here. This is the mangle lot. The mangle bangled. They're not, they're not mangled, they're just lots I of bangles. Ooh, look at this one, you can flip it around. There you go, it hangs like that. Very cool. We have a nice hair piece, hair comb, and all the rhinestones are there. Look at the hair. Wow, doesn't look like it's ever been worn either. No wear on it. Very pretty. Butterflies. I've done that too. And I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to fix it. I'll bring it back later. Okay, we have a gunmetal necklace. Here's your lobster claw. And here's your extender with the bead. Very pretty. A hot pink color. Find the right place to clasp it. It's much like a bib necklace. There's your bib part there. You just have to flip over. And there's your this part here. It's very pretty. And we have some more bangles. And this time it's in blue. Skippy skippy. Blue and gold with a white. Very pretty colors. We have this statement necklace. Honey colored beads. Extender with a bead. Lobster claw clasp. Double chain. Nowhere. Here's the back. In excellent condition. We have this bib like collar. It's missing stones here and here. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. The new Hobby Lot, because the other one just overflowed. And you'll be seeing the old Hobby Lot that's in it after we get through with this stuff. Yeah. Here's some beads. I don't know if those are seeds. 
or not. Very smooth feeling. There's a pretty little angel pen. Here's the back. I don't see any marks. Very sweet brooch. Here is a collar necklace. It's in a gunmetal color, a darker color. Maybe silver that's tarnished, I don't know. It's dark. He wants me to polish it. No, yeah, that's a scratch or see if it's magnetic. Oh. I don't know your hand signals yet. It's magnetic. Okay, so much for silver. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice necklace, though. It's well made. It's got a um, nice design to sit on the neck. Here's the back. The next is lobster claw clasp. The lobster claw is silver, the clasp is gold. And then here's your beads. You have wood beads and acrylic beads. Earth tone colors. Double stranded. Very good condition. Is this Doctor Who? Mm-hmm. Is it a fidget who? Well, it's the TARDIS as oh, it spins I around. I know, I'm just being silly. Silly? Okay. You're allowed. Lobster claw clasp. Silver Rollo chain. And there's your pendant. This pretty rhinestone mesh chain. It has a lobster claw clasp. Got somewhere on it where you can see the copper coming through. The gold. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yes, it is. I love the baguette cuts on this. Very pretty. Gosh, I don't know if those what these are made of. They're silky filling. They look like those silk beads, but I don't think they are. It's a very old necklace. It's got a box clasp. Still working. No marks. Beautiful white color. It's very pretty. Like the iridescence. Well, here we go again. For the Doctor Who fans. Mm -hmm. It's a nice cord on that, nice and long. This is, um, I think it's wood. Very cool. This has got strings sticking out. We've got a horseshoe. I don't think there's any rhinestones in that. The horse and a heart. Another heart over here. And we'll put that in the hobby lot. Have a spring ring class, silver tone. Beautiful, um, light green, like a mint green and cream color mixture. I don't know what this is. It's very soft feeling. Doesn't feel like stone or anything. Very pretty. We have this class, our memory wire bracelet. Here's the little flower on the end, little bead on the end. 
those are acrylic blue ble blue beads very cute yeah, okay here's a gunmetal earrings and a twirl design in excellent condition Here's the other side. Don't see any marks. This is Hootie that needs to be fixed. He just came undone there at the bottom. He just came undone on the bottom. There's the little ringing keys to go on. So that's an easy fix. Very cute. Here's a watch, clamper type. It's got a mother of pearl face. It's Saint Marin, M A R I N. Quartz. I think it has some damage on the face there. I'm going to put this in the hobby lot. I didn't even see that. It's right in the corner. It's hard to see. Let's see. Here's a pretty stretchy bracelet with blue stones. Gunmetal color in good shape. Okay. You believe me now? I just didn't even see the watch come out. Here is Charming Charlie earrings, very pretty earrings. That checkerboard cut. Those are like glass. Oh, they're gold. So those are glass or a crystal. Earrings on that. Very cool. In great shape. These are pretty too, earrings. They have the cat size and a floral centerpiece. The little purple stone in the middle. Let's turn this one around. Cat's eye beads, pearls, glass beads, more of the purple rhinestone. Very cute earrings. Next is just a chain, simple chain by itself. If it has marks on it or not. <clears throat> yes, it's 120 of 12 karat gold. So we have 120 of 12 karat gold chain. It is, let me measure it. Nine and a half, so that's 19 inches. Okay, I fixed Mr. Hootie Owl. He's in good shape, ready to go. There's another pearl necklace. It's three stranded. It's got um, silver, I mean gold tone findings, officer claw class, extender with a bead. Here are your end caps. It's four stranded, I'm sorry. My mistake. Four strands. They're not glass. They're a nice weight. If they were glass, they'd be too heavy. But they hang really nice. 
well strung. No knot in between, so if you break them, you're in trouble. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Fuzz off. There we go. Very pretty. Speaking of breaking something that came loose in here. Next thing we have next thing we have is a gunmetal colored lobster claw class extender with a bead necklace. Rollo chain with cameo. A pearl and a tassel. What more could you ask for? Very cute charm necklace. Here's another gunmetal colored necklace. It's double stranded. I guess. No, single stranded. Very long. Lobster claw clasp mixed in with the bead and the gunmetal color. And then you have your Gunmetal beads and chain all the way down. This is very long. It's probably 72 inches. There it is, doubled. Nice layering piece. Hard to be worn alone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next is a heart, pink with a snake chain, lobster claw clasp, just getting the chain undone there, the extender, that's why you don't need them, take those extenders off, very cute. There's a tiny little locket. I don't know what it went to. Look like it came off of something, though. We'll put it to the side. Some earrings. They are clips. They're screw back clip backs. In other words, you clip them together, and then if you need them tighter, you can screw them a little tighter. There you go. Very nice. In excellent condition. They're marked. These are Napiers. I put it in where it's supposed to be. Oh, a bit upside down. I put it in where it's supposed to be. I had to go hunt it when I wanted it. So there. Here's a lobster claw glass <laughs> extender with a bead. Take that. Yeah, I know I take a lot. Here's your uh, necklace. I believe at one time this was three stranded because you have all these little damper things right there. But as a single stranded necklace, it looks good too. Yeah, that was probably part of it. <laughs> There you go. Here's the other part of it. It's even got the the same kind of spacers. Yep. There's some more of it. Yeah, some more of it's in here too. <laughs> so we'll put it all together in a bag and put it in the hobby lot as we find it. Here's a heavy stretchy bracelet. It's in pretty good shape, but you do have some wear on the pearl there, on that one, and that one. And that one. Well, that's because they're on the bottom, honey. I'm going to put this in the hobby lot. Next is an Ancline watch. Silver and gold tone. It's got a fold-over clasp. How much you have fun with this? would fit a small wrist because it's going to be too tight for me. 
It's more for a smaller wrist. Yeah, I can't buckle it. So if you have a small wrist and you're wanting a watch, here's a pretty incline watch. Here's some stars in red. It's going in the hobby lot. This is gorgeous. And it looks like all the stones are there. Are they? I don't know, I didn't look. Yep, they're all there. Awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. This is awesome. Very pretty on a snake chain. Lost claw class with an extender. What does Skinny think of that? Oh, I think Skinny would love it. I think she'd go, woohoo! Yep, that's gorgeous. Just enough bling without being too much bling. Wow, I like that. Okay, the next necklace we have, it's got that smoky opaque stones. Kind of grayish, greenish to me. Rollo um, necklace. It's got some wear on it. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. Yes, dear, let me mess with it. You get frustrated. This is all yours to mess with, too. Oh, good. Hot dog. I get to do some. Very pretty peacock necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. It's got wear on it, but this is too pretty to uh, not go ahead and sell as is. Very pretty. Okay. Here's some pretty earrings. Wires. Looks like fish, uh, mermaid. Mermaid earrings. There's a pretty pink pearl bracelet. It's got an old clasp. That box clasp. It's very pretty. There we go. Whoops. Very beautiful. The next is a brooch, pearl brooch. Here's the back. Don't see any maker's mark. Very cute. The next thing is this little pendant here. It's a pearl on a sterling silver chain. The class is Mark Sterling NYCO. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Because I had to clean off some of the tarnish to be able to see it. <clears throat> NYCO. And the sterling is right in there. Very cute. Now it got tagged onto this little locket. Let me get it untagged. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? That's very pretty. That's our first piece of sterling, I think, isn't it? The next is this glass pendant. Here's the back. It looks like land and then the ocean here. The ocean on that side, too. 
Here's the back. Very pretty. On a nice wire. It's got a lobster claw. Clasp. Very pretty. Next the necklace we have is this one. All the rhinestones are there. Chain looks in good shape until you get the very back and then you see some wear. There's your extender. Very pretty design. The next is lobster claw clasp and extender with a bead. Rollo chain. Oh, dinner's here. I'll have to cut it off. These are glass, black glass. Very pretty. Here is a black beaded spring ring clasp. Trafari. Fasted black beaded necklace. And with that said, I'm going to sign off and go eat.